That was really a fast introduction. Whoops. It's so okay. that was a fast introduction and I really wasn't prepared to talk about myself. I was ready just to get into the images. So my name is Mike Busby. I've been shooting professionally for a while. Um, I've been judging for the Spokane Camera Club for a number of years. And in fact, I credit you guys for giving me a very good start with being able to judge with you guys and also doing occasional classes and stuff. Used to shoot some uh, professionally, but in the last three years I transitioned to education. Uh, it's been a lot more fun and just a lot more fun. Um, I've got a master's in photography. Um, I've got a formal education in photography. And when it comes to my credibility for the critiques, you guys are gonna figure that out within the first 30 seconds, whether you, whether you think I'm worth it or not. And finally, I am the president for the Professional Photographers of Washington. Mm. And what we're trying to do right now is to create more opportunities uh, so people can come into the organization or visit the organization and start getting a lot more professional feedback on the images. So, and when I say professional feedback, that's not necessarily for business. That's also for people who just wanna up their game. So that's a little bit about me, um, a little bit about my uh, judging approach is I've been moving away from numbers and scores, but you guys want them, so you guys get them. Um, but just a couple of things is I'm just one opinion. So if I say something that really resonates for you, use it. If I say something that's way off or if I made a judgment uh, on an assumption that's completely wrong, just ignore it. Uh, I've been told my scores are pretty tough. Um, I'm not necessarily feeling that, but one of the things I wanna let you guys know is we tend to look at the, the images with the fives as, you know, hey, this is, is really making it. I would encourage you to if you have scores that are four, four, and four, uh, that's, those are scores telling you that your composition, your impact, and your technique are above average. And for me, that's a win. Uh, interestingly enough, in, in my own sales and stuff, I would say it's my 11 and 12s uh, that tend to sell well. And then my, my higher scores are actually more like pretty pictures that, that people just wanna see. Um, also, my internet is a little squirrely tonight, so hopefully everything will be stable. If I pop off, just wait for a second, I'll jump back on. And we've got 31 images tonight, and I've got comments on all of them. Uh, the good, bad, and the tough. <laughs> so if I'm doing my job tonight, uh, in my description should, should really fit those uh, scores really pretty good. So I'm ready to go. Are you guys? I'm okay. ready. So we're starting with digital uh, general color. Starting with early morning in Venice. Okay. There it is. Okay. Are you guys seeing it? I see it. Okay, yes. so screen sharing's working. That's all I needed to know. So early morning in Venice, uh, this image has a lot of mood, love the silhouettes, love the detail. Very, very cool image, love the, the, the color palette. Uh, what's concerning is, can you guys see my mouse? Mike, only half of the image is showing. Can you move? Yeah, I, 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 it showed the full image for a second or two, and then okay. it went to a, a vertical format or something. And Okay, how about now? No, it hasn't changed. Hasn't changed. I'm gonna switch image and then come back. How about now? No. Okay. Hey, uh, Mike, uh, this is Tim here uh, on cameras, uh, <laughs> Zoom. Um, I think, uh, there we go. Hit, yeah, no, <laughs> How's that? 
Yes, now it works. OK, okay. Yep, okay. much better. So this, this image is, is a striking image to me. It has a lot of mood. A um, little bit of concern on the composition. Can you guys see the little plus moving yes. around on your screen? Yes. yes, we can. Yeah, OK. So my only concern are these lights that are over here to the far right. We've got all this cool detail and stuff that's over here. All of this is competing with this. So the eyes are going right over to the right and kind of away from, from where we want it. Um, I might suggest a crop, you know, maybe cropping it like that. So you still have kind of the same image, but it's taking out those, those bright, bright lights. Uh, did you guys see the crop that I did? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Okay. Okay. So as is with this image, composition for, impact for, and technical for. All right. Early morning in Venice by Don Burnell, 12 points. It's not always black and white. So this is another shot that I liked. Yeah. Um, it just seemed off to me using the, the color with the black and white. And I'm not sure if I can completely articulate it, but I think it just has to do with what's in color here is also the same subject that's, that, that's out here. Um, and my, my mind, I, just, I think I just want to see this one in color. So it's, it's nicely done. I like these textures that are, are on it. Not sure how that was done, but they look pretty cool. Composition is nice. So composition four, impact three, technical four. It's not always black and white by Lori Pence, 11 points. Male pronghorn. Yeah, so we got a nice shot. Uh, one of the things we bump into is that we're, we're seeing quite a bit of wildlife, so we need something that kind of pumps it up. Uh, you know, the detail's looking good, it's sharp. What I might suggest, and I practice some of these crops, <laughs> try to get them right, but I might suggest cropping in closer on, on the, the animal's head moving in closer to the face and to the eyes um, makes an image more more intimate anytime we get closer to a face and that's for people and for animals so i think a crop like this might be a little bit more striking uh, also the the horns are really cool there's a lot of detail in the horns and that's going to be of interest to the viewers you have so uh, composition is a three impact is a four technical is a three Male Pronghorn by Steve Shining, 10 points. Out of Gas. So this is a shot we can find in, in Eastern Washington. Uh, I like the shot, but I just want more of a subject in there. There's, there's just not a lot of impact. There, there isn't a strong landing place for the eyes. Uh, the eyes do land here. My mind wants to be looking here in the grill, but of course the, the weeds are there. Compositionally, it's, it's in the center. Um, so it's, it's a nice shot, kind of a, uh, 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 just an average kind of shot. So composition is three, impact is three, technical is three. Out of gas by Tim Lesser, nine points. through the trees. This image has some really nice design elements. I, I like the path that's going in, those strong leading lines. I like the composition where we've got depth here, um, but my mind is looking for something. Uh, this is a, like a nice setup. It's a great scene, but there's not a lot going on in it. Uh, and I don't have a lot of recommendations. Uh, if you were to shoot this in the in uh, the future, maybe just waiting until a couple people were walking down the path. Uh, I think that would add a lot of interest as well as maybe a stronger uh, focal point. So composition four, impact three, technical three. 
Well, my computer is not. Four, three. And three. And three. Um, Through the Trees by Donna Larson, 10 points. Two at the Bush. So this is a really cool image. It's a hard image to get just with one bird, much less two birds. So the bird down here is really super sharp. This bird is just a touch soft in the eye, uh, but considering we're getting two hummingbirds, you know, getting them on the same place is, is pertinent and impossible, but this is a really cool image. My only recommendation would be maybe a little bit different crop. Uh, I think there's some dead space down here. This will make it a little bit stronger. Uh, otherwise, a really cool shot. So two at the bush is composition four, impact four, and technical four. Two at the bush by Rosemary Bazire, 13 po 12 points. I can't add. All right, digital monochrome. In, inside out. Okay, so I came across this image and in my view, this is a super, super strong image. Uh, I'm looking for, you know, where's the, the eye going to? Is the image building interest? And then how well is it done technically? And this image, my eyes are going right here to this face, then they're bouncing to this face. The contrast of the cups, I'm looking all around these, these circles. And for the maker, something that's super, super cool is all these details in the bright whites through there and through there. Uh, there's details in the darks, there's, there's shapes, there's variety. The angle of the, the shot is, is really, really good. Um, you know, I might even suggest tightening the crop a little bit. Uh, I think that might make it stronger, but I didn't use that in my consideration for a score. This is a fabulous image all the way around. Composition five, impact five, technical five. Inside Out by Lynn Nordhagen, 15 points. Pathway. So this is an interesting image to, to talk about. Um, there's not a lot of oomph for me. There's some interest. I like this path. Uh, my thought on composition is that if we were to compose it, maybe something like this, or actually hang on. I just want to go a little bit wider. Maybe something like this. I think those leading lines become stronger. I think those stones stand, stand out a little bit more. Uh, so compositionally, I think there's some things that can be done. Also, I do appreciate the, the vertical composition on this. Um, I think when we're composing vertical with, with this image, we can it'll have a, a sense of time. Something that's super, super important with this image is our eyes are drawn to all kinds of contrasts. So light and dark, uh, soft and sharp, and then color and non-color. So this is actually a focal point because it's got some browns in it. Um, and that's not a bad thing, a little bit of color, it's, it's, it's hitting that. The unfortunate part is that this area down here with the color, this is also drawing our attention and we really don't want the, our attention going to an area, especially that lower right-hand corner, but also in an area that doesn't really have a whole lot going on. So I might suggest making this part black and white, maybe doing a crop. The image as is, uh, composition three, impact three, technical three. Okay, Pathway by Don Burnell, nine points. Summertime. So again, another super, super strong image. When we're photographing, one of the things we're trying to do is get a strong sense of mood, uh, visual energy, uh, visual weight. Just we want something in that image to take what's, what's going to be a static image 
and just give it some life. So, you know, we talked about diagonal lines and, and other things, but here we've got a, an image. This is a story we, we can all relate to, huge ener energy, nice silhouette, but we can still see details in, in this. Uh, it's just it's just really nicely done. It's and I think it's a super strong image with with a lot of energy. The only concern I have on this is that there seems to be a yellow tone on it, and that could have just been aesthetic choice by the maker. Um, my advice would be maybe make that a little bit more orange, and you might get that that summertime feel a little bit more of that, or make it a a little bit more of a black and white and and the cooler tone. So as is, composition five, impact five, and technical four. Summertime by Lynn Nordhagen, 14 points. All right, subject color. You know, judging is a lot more dynamic when, when we're all in the same room. So yeah. when you guys are, are disagreeing with me, I can hear all your moans and groans and discontent. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All aglow. Okay. So for this image, the strength in the image is it's a cool shot. Uh, I also like the composition with it. I like those long compositions. Uh, lengthwise, they, they add a sense of time. Uh, the criticism is on this is the image is soft. And I don't know if that's because it was a lack of focus or because it was so dark that the, the shutter was open for a little bit longer. And also these areas down here are, are blown out a little bit, which is also taking away from the image. So uh, something I would like to, to share with you guys is a lot of people do night shooting and they try to do it at night after the sun goes down. It's been down for a while and it's getting pretty dark outside. Um, so when you're in those conditions, it gets really, really tough to shoot because the dynamic range between the black skies and the bright lights, super, super far apart and it's hard to get with the camera. So with night shooting, and if you've ever seen any of my work, all of my night shooting is done during that blue hour. So about 20, 30 minutes after the sun goes down, maybe for about an hour, uh, I'll shoot. I don't go much further than that because things just, it, things just get tough. Uh, so for this image, all aglow, composition four, impact three, technical three. All right, all aglow by Kim Barbie, 10 points. Bannock, Milky Way. So I'm also a guy that likes to, to shoot the stars. Uh, compositionally, this is a cool shot. Uh, also, someone was probably trying to do a little bit of light painting on, on the building with the stars. The tough part of it, the stars are out of focus. And I've been there trying to get the focus on the stars can be insanely tough, but it's out of focus and there's quite a bit of noise uh, all through here. Um, so it's, it's just one of those things I would recommend the maker go do some practice, uh, you know, and if you have access to this building, practice on the building a little bit more compositionally, if you can do this one again, just move to the right a little bit and get this building and move it a little bit over to the left and compositionally it'll be just a little bit better. So composition is a four impact is a three. And technical is a two. Bannock Milky Way by Judy Dobler, nine points. Captured lights. So this is kind of a, a cool image, nicely done with the lights. I think they're just a touch soft, but not readily available. The issue is this bright light right here. This is taking away and, and hurting the rest of the the image, uh, the eyes will land here on, on uh, this building, but then they immediately pop up. This is a big white area, no detail. It's, it's, it's all blown out. So it's really taken away from, from the image. So cool image. If there was a way we could 
douse this or, or, or Photoshop it out or, or clone it out, then the overall image would have a, a lot more strength to it. So for crap, uh, captured lights, uh, composition three, impact is a two, and technical is a three. Oops, hold on. All right. Um, captured lights by Sister Madonna, eight points. Coeur holiday lights. Yeah, so for the maker, super, super good job. Uh, there's detail everywhere. Nothing really looks blown out. I guess it's uh, a drone shot or an aerial shot, but it just, it looks really, really good. Your only issue with it is that it's leaning to the right. So we need to take our horizon and just lift it up a little bit on this side, straighten everything out. And I might suggest a crop like this. Um, I think it captures the same same information. I just think this is a little bit stronger. But having said that, uh, let's see, we did composition four, impact five, technical five. Uh, with a straight horizon and, and a crop, I, I, I'd give another point for the composition. This is very nicely done. Coeur d'Alene Holiday Lights by Tim McGee, 14 points. Cows come home. Yeah, so this was a really, really cool image to me. I like the silhouette. Uh, I like the color palette. There's really strong lines in this color palette, right? So we got these bright yellows, the oranges. They're going across the, the whole image. However, the maker framed it with these trees. And in my world, having these trees on the side, this yellow line is a super strong design element, but the trees block it from getting to the edges, which keeps our eyes in the image. Uh, it's something that we want to do. The longer our eyes are in the image, the more the, the viewer will make connections. So I think that is very powerful. It was very well done using these blocks. So Cows Come Home is composition five. Uh, impact four and technical four. Cows Come Home by Lynn Nordhagen, 13 points. Dancing with the Stars. So we're going to talk about this image just a little bit up for the maker. Uh, my intention isn't to, to beat the, the, this up, uh, but I'm going to do that a little bit. Um, and also I'm, I'm kind of like writing your boat. So we've got the stars in the background and they look great. The sky looks great. We've got some flat light going on these trees and the lights going completely across. So the trees are, are competing with the dancers and, and then with the, the main part of the stars and they look really, really flat. Um, also with, with the dancers, uh, there's a little bit of uh, contradiction and light going on. So if we look over here, when I zoomed in, we can see some shadows from the tree and then we can see it over here as well. And it looks like there's a light source that's a little bit to the left that's on the trees, but I'm seeing shadows going to the left for the dancers which means there was a light source from the right. So maybe it's both, it could be a uh, composite. And then also on the dancers, there are some highlights on the, the other side of the faces, which also suggest a light source in a different part. So I'm assuming this is a composite. I, I may be off with it. Um, what's, what, what's tough for me in this image is I've been trying to spend the last three years trying to get more subjects and people in with the stars. And it's just super, super tough to do. Uh, the stars need a very, very long exposure, short exposure on, on the people. And it's something I personally struggle with. Um, but those contradictions in light, uh, when someone looks at the image, it feels a little bit off. 
And if an image feels a little bit off, then people start going through the image, you know, looking for, for what the problems are. So Dancing with the Stars, uh, I do like the composition in it though. Composition four, impact three and technical two. Dancing with the Stars by Harvey Brown, nine points. Fast Eddie. Yeah, so this is a really cool shot. Love the lights, love the motion. And again, that's visual energy. It's implied movement. Um, and also just the name Fast Eddies is, is just cool for this. I might suggest um, this light is, is really kind of blown out. It's a blob, it's not really doing much. I might suggest a long crop, something like this. Uh, I think it takes the focus down on, onto the bar and, and to the car. The horizontal composition adds that, that stretched out, adds a sense of, of time with it. Uh, that would be my only, only real uh, advice on it. And you might wanna go down half a stop and, and try to get a little bit more detail in these areas that are, are blown out. But as is, composition for, Impact four and technical four. Fast Steady by Butch Shop, 12 points. Glow and Flow. Yeah, so another really, really cool image. And for the maker, you need to know that I'm extraordinarily biased <laughs> when I'm talking about this shot because I've shot it before and I, I have some just my own ideas on, on it, but it's a nice shot. It's a good shot. Uh, I might suggest a crop, something like this. Um, it just focuses the eyes more right here. This is your area of interest. And by cropping it like this, we're taking out these orange lights that are on the side. Uh, these are cool, they look great, but they are a distraction with the rest of the image. I might crop that just a, a little bit higher. Uh, something I wanna compliment the maker on is this is extraordinarily well done. This area right through here is really tough to shoot because it's super, super bright. This area through here with the water, super, super tough because it's very bright, but I can see textures throughout all the water. And then also in the darks, not sure if I can see a lot of detail through here, but I can see it through, through the trees over here and the trees over here. So what I'm trying to tell the maker is your darks are darks and they got details in them. Your whites are whites and they got details in them. And that's something for your night shooting that is super important and really makes those, those images pop. It looks like this has a little bit of a yellow tone to it, maybe an orange tone. That could just be the lights. I might add a little blue to see what happens, but Maker, uh, certainly you you go where you want to with it. So glow and flow, nicely done. Uh, composition four, impact four, technical four. And this is one of those images with a couple of changes could easily get some more points. Glow and flow by Steve Shining, 12 points. Going green. Yeah, so this was a cool image. It pops up. I didn't really know what to make of it. I just thought it was really cool. I like the time of the night. I like the shapes. I like the green. I like the lights. Um, and also something that's really cool is this is an image that is, is pertainable to, to now. Uh, green energy, going to electric cars, all of that's in the news. All of that's issues that were we're going through now. So I think it's relevant. Um, I think it's well done. I think it's cool. Um, if this was meant to be an editorial piece, I'd leave it just like this. If this were one of my images, the only thing I might do is I might take out these lights here on the left side and a little bit here on the right side. Um, but otherwise, just a, a, a cool shot. Um, this is going green, right? So composition is four, impact is five and technical is four. Going green by Tim Lesser, 13 points. Mirkwood 
Okay, Mirkwood Sky. Yeah, so it's it's really kind of tough to 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 tell. the The sky's done well. The stars are done well. Love the colors that that are in the sky. And something you might not be able to see that's really cool is that there's some details down here. There's a road that's going in. The forest looks really great. So a, a really nice image. I'm just feeling that the, the stars are just pushed over to the right just a little bit more. Um, if there was a way to include a little bit more on, on the right side, and then I might suggest um, if you can lighten this just a touch, uh, just to kind of get that 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 road popping, um, I think it'd be a super super strong piece. So this is Merkwood. So composition is three, impact is four, and technical is four. Merkwood Sky by Harvey Brown, eleven points. Nightlight. Yeah, so this was an interesting image to me. Um, it feels like the, there's maybe a little bit of a, a film across it. Uh, wasn't entirely sure. I zoomed into it. Everything is sharp. Everything is looking good. The building is is composed nice. It feels like it's leaning a little bit to the left. So I might try might try uh, straightening that out. Um, if it is straight. I apologize to the maker. It just kind of feels that way. Uh, my sense, and I'm not 100% on this, is there was probably some noise in the image and maybe there was some noise reduction, which is kind of giving it that, that little bit of film. Uh, but otherwise, it, it looks good. I might add a little bit of contrast. I think it'll make that, that image pop a little bit. So Nightlight is composition four, impact four, technical three. Nightlight by Donna Larson, 11 points. Out of darkness. Yeah, so abstracts are tough for me. Um, I never know where to go with them, but you know what? The dynamics are the same. So I ask myself, is there a strong landing point for the eyes to land? Yes, there is. Does the image build a build interest and, and have interest? And I would say with all the colors and with the movement, absolutely. And again, with that movement, that's creating some visual uh, energy and visual movement, which is something we want in the images. And then the last question it would be, uh, is the maker doing things to keep the eyes in the image? And that's kind of like, well, I'm not really sure. Um, We've got the reds over here. Maybe if we darken this down a little bit, uh, I'm not in, entirely sure, but otherwise I think it's a nice festive images, a nice festive image. And what I'm really liking out of this shot is just that sense of visual energy and movement. So composition four, impact four and technical four. Out of Darkness by Rosemary Bazire, 12 points. Pavilion. So we got a nice shot of the pavilion. Everything is sharp. And looking at the image, I see the flag down here, which is also kind of telling me that uh, since the flag was blowing, probably a little bit of a faster shutter speed, so maybe not a, a long exposure. Um, just some minor nits in terms of composition. These bright lights here, here, here and here are, are competing a little bit with the image. I might take those out uh, if you were so inclined. And then also with this image, we can see that there's a, a yellow cast to it. And this took me uh, about 40 minutes to, to figure out a couple of years ago. Uh, it's not a white balance uh, issue. Uh, we've got green light and we've got red light on the pavilion. And what does green and red mix together? They make yellow. So that yellow, that yellow uh, cast that we're seeing is probably actually coming from the lights themselves, the greens and the reds mixing together. So just something to point out. So composition th three, impact four, technical three. Um, Pavilion by Kevin Watt, 10 points. Stars over Lake DeSmit. 
Okay, so the first thing that rang out to me was this is a really cool composition. Uh, again, I like shooting the, the stars and it, it's very, very hard to shoot the stars at night and get enough light to get details in, in the foreground. Uh, these lines, you got a huge triangle with the stars and then with the shoreline here, then you got a nice focal point and then we got the nice reflection here. So compositionally, a really strong image. When I zoomed in, there's a lot of noise in, in, in the ground, which is, of course, probably the only way the maker could, could get any details in it. But there's quite a bit of noise here, and then there's a lot of uh, noise in the water. Um, however, very, very nicely done. I might suggest to the maker, uh, if you leave this just a little bit darker, maybe some of that noise may, may go away. And then maybe try to use a little noise reduction on the water and, and that may smooth things out. But otherwise, composition five, impact four, technical four. Um, stars over like to smet, 13 points. Oh, by John Lepper. Okay. Times Square at night. Yeah, so I thought this was an exceptionally cool image. It's coming across as an editorial image. Um, and what I like compositionally about it is these people over here in, in the right. So again, they're pretty sharp, they're pretty clear. So this is telling me it was probably a handheld image, pretty fast shutter speed in, in order to, to get these guys pretty sharp. Um, personally, I keep uh, main subjects or strong focal points away from this lower right-hand corner. However, in this shot, I think it works. The people are kind of close to the edge, which creates some visual energy. Um, and there's so much going on over here that I may drift over here, but then it's going up this building. Then it's going over here. Uh, also throughout the entire image, there's, there's a ton of stuff to look at. There's a ton of stuff to, to interpret. So just, just a really solid image. So. Uh, composition gets a five, impact is a four, and technical is a four. Times Square at Night by Tamara McGee, 13 points. Unexpected. Yeah, so this is an image that had an initial um, big impact with me, uh, and then I started to, to struggle with it. So the the um, and the reason for that is I wasn't entirely sure what the story was. So I tried to get some context from, from the title, got unexpected, wasn't sure what, what to make of it. Uh, kind of the negatives on this, uh, this building, we've got all this cool area over in through here doing stuff. This building is, is taking it away from it because it's so bright here. So I might darken that down. And then, you know, this is where my assumptions come in. I'm assuming this light was what was unexpected. Um, however, it also looks toned down. So it's like, was that the main subject? And, and then the, the maker kind of tone it down. And there's a little bit of banding that's going on through here. You can see the gradations. Um, so those are the, the criticisms for it. Um, on the other hand, I just want the maker to know I love these flares. Um, I don't know where they're coming from. I don't know what the light source is. Maybe there's a light behind them or a street light or something. Um, but I'm actually taking away, I love those flares. And I'm pondering to myself, is there a way that I can replicate some of that maybe later on? Because the idea is great. The mood is great. Uh, the execution just, just falls away little short. So composition four, or excuse me, composition is a three, impact is a three, technical is a two. Okay. Um, unexpected by Lori Pants, eight points. Valley Chapel. Okay. So when I talk about this one, guys, I want you to know that a couple of years ago, I entered a chapel with the stars into a professional composition competition, and I intentionally left in some telephone poles. 
So I am not adverse to telephone polls, but man, those judges talked about that telephone poll for, for 10 minutes. So with this shot, um, the stars are looking great. The sky is looking great. Uh, the, the church is looking great. The distraction that's out there, and again, I don't mind these, these, these telephone poles, but these telephone cables right here that are super, super bright. You've got the cool chapel, you've got the cool stars, but all of that is competing and dominated by these bright lines because that's where the eye wants to go. So I think this is a cool shot. Um, just if, if there was a way to, to, to down those, those cables, then the rest of the images is really going to pop. So as is, uh, composition is a three, impact is a three, and technical is a three. Valley Chapel by John Lepper, nine points. Wispy Quarter Moon. So I absolutely love this shot. Um, I think it's got a ton of mood. It just it just feels really cool, and it's an image that I would, you know would love to look at for a long time. Uh, there are some images. I'm not sure if it was noise um, or if the maker cropped down on it and 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 got to some 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 pixelation. But there are some images. There are some issues with with the quality of it. Um, I played with a crop on this for a little bit. You know, I was wondering maybe a, a crop having it just a little off center. Um, I don't know, but I, I just want the, the maker to know that this was a really cool shot, just just fell apart a little bit. Um, and I was across the board on the scoring on this one. So composition is a three, I'm giving impact a four, uh, but technical is a two. Uh, Wispy Quarter Moon by Kevin Watt is nine points. Yakina had light. So I love shooting in Oregon. I love shooting the stars. Um, I think this is a super cool image, mostly because of the perspective, right? High out uh, over the water, just a different perspective than what we see. Also, the color palette on this is super, super cool. Um, I love these yellows and oranges. They mix well with all these really, really cool blues and, and with the, the, the splash of green. Um, I might suggest just tightening your crop a little bit. Um, just, I think that's the shot. I might even come in a little bit from the left. Uh, again, that's more of a, an aesthetic, but shot as is, uh, Yakina headlight, uh, composition is a four, impact is a five, and I'm giving technical a five as well. Very Yakina, nicely done. Yakina headlight, 14 points. All right, and we have three in... Hi, Tim McGee. Oh, I'm sorry, Tim. That was that Yakini had light was by Tim McGee. Um, so <laughs> sorry, Tim, not on purpose, I promise. All right, so subject no, no, no. monochrome. Hey, Colleen. <laughs> yes. I had a picture that didn't show up. Um, it was titled yeah. Mars and Friends. Okay. I don't do this piece. All I do is. I get this information from Dennis. And so you're gonna to have to talk to Dennis about it. Okay. Um, I also have a missing photograph out of this. Okay, so uh, you guys need to let Dennis know. If, if you guys are good with it too, um, if Dennis wants to, to shoot in my way, I've got no problem giving it a score and returning it to Dennis as well. If that's within bounds for you guys. Okay, <clears throat> thanks Mike. Yeah, thanks. All right. Cathedral of Our Lady of Lords. 
So this is a really nice shot. It's also kind of a tough shot. Uh, I've tried to shoot this by myself and sometimes can be really, really tough to get the angles, but this is looking really good. High contrast. I want the maker to know that what is super, super cool is your highlights. Uh, tough building to shoot, but all your highlights have details in them. So very nicely done. It can be a tough thing. Um, so uh, cool shot. The only concern I have is the sky looks extraordinarily black. And I don't know if it was turned down black to, to remove distractions um, or if it was shot that way, it could be either. Uh, but that just looks like a lot of black. Um, I didn't take it into account too much on the judging because I didn't know what was going on. But for the maker, if there is a background back there, uh, just even having it lightly in there so we can see some of the details, I think may make the, the image stronger. Um, this is when you're gonna have to you know, look at yourself and make the decision, just something that I noticed. So as is composition four, um, impact four and technical four. Okay, hold on, my computer froze. Um, Cathedral of Our Lady of Lords by Tamara McGee, 12 points. Nicely done on those highlights, nicely done. Peekaboo. Yep, so this is another image. Love the moon, love the shot. Uh, I felt a lot of impact with it, uh, but then it kind of fell apart with, with technical issues. We can see where it's gradated and there looks like halos around the moon. There's banding in the, the uh, clouds and stuff. And, and there's also noise within the image. So it's, it's a cool image. And my guess is a lot of the processing um, things that we're seeing came into effect because the maker was trying to bring out, uh, bring out some details and, and that's kind of what they ended up with. Um, but still it, it had an impact with me. So composition is a four, impact is a four, but uh, technical is a two. Uh, Peekaboo by Sister Madonna, 10 points. Our, our last image of the evening, the empire above. Yeah, so with this image, I think the strength is the angle and, and all those darks. Uh, it looks ominous, it looks tall, it looks like everything we want, one in a skyscraper. Uh, unfortunately, the, the image really isn't sharp. It's, it's pretty soft, so we would need to, to, to sharpen that up um, if we can. Uh, not a lot of uh, advice on this one other than I think it's a really, really cool shot. I just wish it had been uh, sharp. Uh, also, through here, where it's, there's a lot of highlights, there's still a lot of details in the lights. This is really, really dark through here. I might suggest lightening that just a little bit to, to maybe get some details. Um, I think it add to the image, I'm not entirely sure. Again, it's one of those things that I would suggest to the uh, maker try it and, and see how it goes. Uh, but otherwise, I'm giving composition a four on this one, impact is a three and then technical is a two. The Empire Above by Kim Barbie, nine points. Ta -da. Well, I don't see any torches and pitchforks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mike. You did great. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. Does it does it help when I go through uh, each image? and point things out? Yes. Okay. Oh, definitely. Uh, you know, I'm not, speaking as a rank amateur who's just throwing my stuff in here with the rest of you. Um, trust, trust me, I, I take every bit of this, you know, like a sponge. So it, uh, the critique, hard or soft, is great. So appreciate it. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you. Okay. So, Barbara, are you still with us? 
I don't think Barbara has a microphone. I know she doesn't have a camera. She wanted to. She wanted to thank people for um, for supporting her, and she wanted to say some things. But I guess she's not there. Huh. She was there at the beginning, but she didn't seem to have her mic on. Well, she's on page two. She's still there. Yeah, I see her. Are you there, Barbara? Oh yeah. She's, I barely can hear her. Barbara, you're you're muted. She's muted. Un unmute yourself. Over on the left hand side of your screen. She's unmuted now. Very good. Hi, Barbara. Barbara, you're unmuted. Maybe she. Well, the, the, and yeah. if, if Barbara gets it together, um, we'll, we'll listen to her then. The other thing we needed to, um, wanted to note is that John Lepper is going to do an education night this month. So, um, John, why don't you explain what it is you're going to be giving us some insights into? Okay, well, it's, it's nothing very complicated. It's just a fun thing to do with, with images that you already have. And that's to make kind of a kaleidoscope or a mirror image and do a little playing around in layers, either in Photoshop or uh, I don't have GIMP, but I know a couple of people that have done it in GIMP. So it's just a fun process. So when you're stuck in the house on a snowy day and can't get out and do some shooting, you can sit and go through your images. And uh, it's just been a lot of fun for me. So I'll demonstrate it. And I'll send out a, either an email or something that has all the directions so people can watch and ask questions and then do it on their own, I hope. So, so are, are those the images you've been posting on Facebook? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those look really cool. Those look oh, really thanks. cool. <laughs> Especially so the oral good. surgeon. I'm, <laughs> never, I'm never getting that one out of my mind. I can't, <laughs> can't unsee it. <laughs> <laughs> So that, that'll be the, the Wednesday after print night. Correct. The 26th day. Back in the 60s. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay, back in the 60s, I built an actual uh, kaleidoscope that was about six feet long and oh my God. Built, built it inside of a cardboard center <laughs> tube. It, but you have to buy a front coated mirror. And depending on the angle that you put it in there, depends on the number of images you have reproduced. So I used it for a show that was on PBS called Kaleidoscope. And so I thought that would be a neat thing to do. Oh, yeah. How cool was that? What happened to it? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Somebody probably dumped, probably went in a dumpster. <laughs> And those uh, front coated mirrors are a little more expensive too. Huh. So again, I thank you, Mike. Uh, you did a great job. I like your when you do the cropping; it gives a good sense of of, of how the composition can be improved. And we like the way you kind of let us know about the details. That it's really really helps a lot. Yeah. Well, I have a lot of fun with them. I just hate giving out lower scores. <laughs> I think we, I think everybody's pretty happy. Yeah. So we thank you and we'll look forward to seeing you on print night and uh, I'll see you in the office when you get the chance. That sounds good. I'll call ahead. And okay, we need to print, upload prints tonight, right? The prints are supposed to be delivered to me by no later than Friday. So, um, but I meant the uh, digital the side. Digital, oh yeah. The digital uploads are due tonight for the print night. And then the prints have to be delivered. And you can either deliver them to the Canon office or John Lepper has volunteered to also be a collection point. So everybody, let's get some prints in because Mike needs to be busy. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so thank you, everybody. And if anybody wants to talk some more, go right ahead. Uh, otherwise, I think we'll, we'll just sign off. Yeah. Both of my uh, both of my photographs didn't show up.
So if there's a way to find out why that might have happened, I'd like to know. Yeah, I'll be looking into that, John, because two of yeah. mine didn't show up yeah. either. I and suggest you look at the website. Yeah, make sure you put them in the right months because that's I usually went, the problem. No, I, I, I just checked the website and the photo that I had missing is correctly entered in the database. Well, yeah, mine are also correctly the right one, but um, hmm. is there anybody else other than John Klikas, uh, myself, and who who is it? Harvey Brown, is that who that was? Uh, Butch. Oh, Butch. Yeah. Um, is there anybody else whose images didn't show up? Yes, this is Dorothy and mine didn't show up either. I had two. And okay. I also know that Barbara Murray had two that didn't show up. Okay. Oh, that's and, and again, guys, if, if you want to send them my way, uh, I don't know what's, you know, inbounds or out of bounds, but if you want to send them my way, I've got no problem judging them and getting scores for them. That would be great. So what, um, David, what is the progress on the, the new system? Progress was that Mr. COVID is now buried and and doesn't have time to work on it right now. Okay. <laughs> he got over his COVID. <clears throat> okay. So, but um, I'll, I'll uh, see what I can do to speed him up, but I don't think very much. <clears throat> That's fine. I'm just curious. Okay. So anyway, thank you everybody. And um, we'll see you on print night. All righty. Nice. Very good. And don't forget, it's, 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 next, it's the next Wednesday because we compressed things, remember? Okay, great. Good night. Okay. Bye-bye, guys. Good night. Thank you.